Hello, and welcome to the virtual 3M University. Today, we are going to talk about 3M masking tapes and masking systems. Proper prep prevents poor performance. Now, these are the five P's that define the paint and the hardware market. And pro for proper prep, you require the right products and the right skills. Now, you have the right skills. We provide the right products. One family of the right product is the masking tape. Uh, for the consumer market, for the paint and hardware, 3M makes two types of tapes. One is the rubber-based adhesive tape, and one is the acrylic-based adhesive tape. Now think about the rubber-based tape as quite sticky, but you cannot put it on a surface for too long without leaving residue. Whereas think about the acrylic tape as less sticky, but you can keep on a surface for a longer period of time without leaving residue. So these are the two tapes. Now to understand the different types of tapes, you have to understand that there are different surfaces. You know, there are rough surfaces, there's a delicate surface, uh, there are paints that are hard to stick to, there are fresh paints, there's stained wood, so many surfaces. And that's the reason why you also need um, so many tapes. You also have applications where you need great paint lines or applications where you just need to do a quick job. So that's the reason why there are different tapes. And this is the reason why 3M has divided the tapes into basic masking tape, multi-surface tape, and surface-specific tape. Now to start with the basic masking tape, the first tape that we have is the 2020 tan tape. This one. So the 2020 tan tape is great for a quick job. It provides three days of clean removability and you know it's, it's just a basic tape to start your painting. The other tape that we have is the General Painting 2055 Light Green Tape. Now this tape has a better strength than the 2020 tape. That's the reason why it has less tendency to tear off when you're pulling the tape off. Uh, this tape is made from the paper that has 30% recycled fiber. And this tape also provides you 8 days of clean removability, so you can keep the tape on the surface for about 8 days, and when you remove it, it's still clean and doesn't leave any residue. Now this 2055 green tape can be applied on baseboards, trim, uh, on carpet, on metal, uh, as long as you remove it before 8 days. The basic masking tape or the general purpose masking tapes are primarily rubber based tapes whereas the multi-surface tapes are primarily acrylic based tapes because you want them to last longer on a surface. The first multi-surface tape that we're going to look at is the 2090 blue tape. It's this one. So when you think about scotch blue painter's tape, this is what you're thinking about. This tape is amazing. It provides 14 days of clean removability, has great UV protection, and can be used especially near windows or sunrooms where the UV rays or the sunlight has more impact. To understand better the UV protection feature of the 2090 tape, I have a board here that explains. So on the top you see the 2090 scotch blue tape and on the bottom is the 2020 basic masking tape. And as you can see that that when hit with sunlight for more uh, for more time, you can see how the 2020 leaves residue. You might have seen that on your project when you're working and, and you come back after a few days and then you realize, oh, I left the tape for too long and now there is this mess that I need to clean up. But with 2090, you can keep the tape for up to 14 days and you'll still get a really clean, uh, uh, clean surface. So that's the reason why 2090 is is really a great tape to be used near, you know, anywhere near the glass or anywhere near where you think the sun can come in and the sun rays will have more impact on. The next tape that we have is the Scotch Blue Sharp Lines. So this is the 2093 blue tape. It's a paperback tape. It provides 21 days of clean removability. And this tape has the edge lock technology, which you can actually see here on this bell. It says edge lock and it says seals out paint. This edge lock technology actually prevents paint bleed and gives you great paint lines. So 
Think about where you need paint lines more. It's the baseboard, it's the trim, and that's where this tape can be used. Uh, again, this tape is great for paint lines and multi-surface. So the 2090 and the 2093. The 2090 provides 14 day clean removal, uh, removability, and uh, 2093 provides 21 days of clean removability. So both of them are great products, acrylic based multi-surface tapes. All right. Now we're getting into the surface specific tapes. The first tape in this category is the 2060 rough surface tape. This tape is great for rough surfaces like brick, stucco, tiles, concrete. This is how the tape looks like. Um, one thing I wanted to, uh, you to notice is that this is also a green tape, which is quite similar to the 2055 general painting tape. In case you get confused, always look on the core because on the core here, there's 2055 written for the general painting and 2060 written for the rough surface. There's also the rough surface writings inside. So just in case if you get confused and if you lose the wrap, you can always read the core. So the Scotch rough surface painter's tape is great for five days so it provides five days clean removability again it sticks on a variety of surfaces like concrete brick stucco tiles uh, it is a rubber based tape and that's the reason why it's quite sticky and and has less days of clean removability basically so um, if you have a, a job let's say close to um, you know on concrete um, floor or if you're working um, near a fireplace and you have tons of bricks near the fireplace you can actually use this tape there uh, so this is a great tape for rough surfaces the next tape on the surface specific tapes is the, the delicate surface purple tape this tape also has the edge lock technology so it prevents paint bleed and it gives you great paint lines so imagine a project like accent walls or decorative stripes. This tape is great for it. Also great for stained wood floors. And uh, this tape lasts for 60 days. So it provides 60 days clean removability. Now here you can see that this is the, the purple delicate surface tape. Again, this is the 2020 basic masking. And this shows for the freshly painted and the wood that the 2020 actually literally removes, and you might have seen this uh, on the project, that it literally removes the, 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 the paint layer here. Whereas the delicate surface tape is great and it provides, look at the, the paint lines. The paint lines are amazing. And this is what you want on your walls. So if you want that, use the delicate surface tape. Again, so these are the surface specific tapes. Rough surface, five days clean removability for rough surfaces delicate surface, accent walls, great paint lines, 60 days of clean removability, that's a lot. So those are the, the surface specific. The next one that we have is the exterior surface. Now we did the interior. Now this tape is especially and exclusively for exterior surface. So the next tape is the 2097 yellow exterior tape. Now this exterior tape provides you 10 days of clean removability. Uh, it is designed to go on exterior surfaces like smooth or textured metal, vinyl, glass. Um, it is weatherproof. So to show the weatherproofing of this tape, I have here water and there's a tape stuck to metal. What I'm doing here is just remove this metal plate out of the water and I'm showing you how it sticks under water. So it's been there for a while inside that water and I'm trying to remove it, see how sticky it is. And when I'm removing it, you can see that the center surface is still dry, whereas this outer surface is quite wet, which means that it resists the water. What is the benefit of this? So imagine a scenario where you have prepped the exterior uh, and it's going to rain. It's quite cloudy and it's going to rain. And in normal circumstances, if you have a paper-based tape, now this exterior tape is polyethylene-based tape. 
So imagine if you had a paper-based tape, you put it outside, it rains, it makes a mess, you have to go again, you have to clean that up, you have to wait for the rain to dry, go back, do your prep again and hope it doesn't rain. Whereas with the exterior tape, now what you can do is, you have prepped the exterior and you see that it's going to rain, you just wait for the rain to go away, wait for it to dry and then start painting. So you don't have to do the re-prep again. So that helps with saving a lot of time. Now this, because it's polyethylene, it also has a, a special 3M technology called the micro replication technology. Now the benefit of that micro replication technology is a straight tear. So now I'm going to tear this tape. Most of the times when you tear a paper-based tape, for example, like this. This is a paper-based tape and I'm trying I'm tearing it. You can see that this is not a pretty bad tear, but you can still that it's still not straight. There's there's these grooves in there. There is when I tear this tape. You can see that it's a straight line. So imagine if you have a project where you're doing a corner, you don't have to cut little pieces of the tape and then attach. Now you can use one tape and you get a perfect right angle on this tape. So a straight tear. And this is because of that micro replication technology. So this is the 2097 exterior tape. So we had the rough surface 2060. We have the delicate surface purple. Uh, which is the 2080 and this is the exterior 2097 yellow tape so these are the surface specific tapes so for the tape tips you know how to put a tape on just make sure that the surface is clean dry and dust free wait for about 30 to 60 minutes before you start painting so that the tape has gotten time so that the adhesive can actually spread out and it's properly sticking so that it doesn't come off right away while pulling off the tape Make sure that you just tag along a little bit and remove it back on itself. Once you have enough, start removing it at a 45 degree angle. And voila, tape is removed. Now getting into the masking systems, 3M provides different masking system products. Basic is the masking paper. Masking paper is very basic. It does provide protection against you know, paint spills, stains, or oversprays, but it has tendency to tear if you are using it in a corner sharp, uh, around sharp objects, or around uncommon objects like um, shower spray head or lamp head. For that, we have masking plastic. So this is what a masking plastic looks like. It's called MPL. It's a 12 inch long product. And as you can see, it's pretty strong. It is conformable, so if you have uncommon, uneven objects, you can actually still wrap them around. You can still see through it. So as compared to the masking paper, uh, you, you can still get the light through. Um, the paint doesn't bleed through, so even if you put multiple coats, sometimes if you use paper and you have multiple coats of spray, uh, the paint could be bleed through the paper. Whereas for the masking plastic, it does not. So this is a great uh, benefit of the masking plastic. This masking plastic has static coating on the inside and the outside. Now there are double benefits of that. Having static coating on the inside, which means it clings to the surface, as you can see in this picture on the left hand side, you can see that that has clinged really well. So you don't have to worry about, and this is, you can do it as one person job. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the wind blowing away the paper, uh, this uh, sticks perfectly to uh, to the surface because of the cling. Now, having the static on the outside is beneficial as well. What happens there is, imagine if you are doing multiple coats, you're spraying multiple coats of paint. Once your first coat is dried, and if it flakes, it could go into your second coat, and that's that's really bad because that affects the quality of the coat, and also there's a lot of cleanup. If it is flaking again, the problem is that you will have a lot of flakes at the bottom which you need to clean up and there's a lot of cleanup that is involved with that. Whereas because of the static coating, it provides flake resistance, which means that when you're doing the second coat, when you're spraying the second coat, 
the, the dried first coat doesn't get into the second coat. Whereas if you have that flake resistance, now this actually helps with also the cleanup, which means that if it is not flaking, you can just remove whatever MPL that you have put on the wall. You can just make it into a ball and you can throw it in the garbage bin and you don't have to worry about the cleanup. So that's the benefit of MPL. Now we get into the other product. So we did the masking paper, the masking plastic. Now we have the advanced masking film. So the advanced masking film, it's name advanced because it has the advanced um, static coating on the top and on the inside and on the outside on both sides as well. So as you can see in this photo, on the right hand side you can see the advanced masking film also has great static cling which means that it will stick to the surface uh, and has great uh, and advanced uh, static coating on the outside which means that it also provides flake resistance. Now this particular um, advanced masking film is 99 inch, which, mean, which means it is a drop down film. The MPL, the masking plastic, is not a drop down. The max length it has is the 12 inch. Whereas this can go up to 99 inches. So you have the 24 inch, you have 48 inch size, you have 72 inch size, you have 99 inch size, which means you're good for baseboards, you're good for a window, you're good for a door, you're good for a wall, so you can mask anything. Now, I'm going to show you how that uh, drop-down feature works. So as you can see here, it's this advanced masking film is on the wall. I'm just going to take this and using my fingers, just going to drop it down. Now it will go all the way to the floor, it's 99 inch, so I can just keep on moving that at the bottom. But you, you can actually see here how great static cling that it provides. And it also has the flake resistant for multiple coats on the outside. It's an amazing product. You can see how clear this is. So if you have masked your windows, the light will get through so there won't be any darkness if there is no external um, light that is available. So a great product advanced masking film. We did the paper, we did the masking plastic, we did the advanced masking film, we saw how uh, the drop down feature worked for those. Now we are going to go into the M3000 uh, tape and masking film dispenser, so what we call as a hand masker. So this is the M3000 hand masker. As you can see, you can there is a hold here, so you can actually hold it here. The tape goes here, the film goes here, so this basically what it does, it, it actually combines a two-person job into a one-person job of masking. So you have the tape and the poly together. What you do is remove it, make sure you engage the blade. The blade is very sharp, so you have to be very careful. So make sure you engage the blade and tear it. So when you tear it, actually get, get a really nice straight cut there, and then you can drop it down just like we saw. You can just drop down that stuff. So that's the M3000 um, hand masker. Now we'll also learn how to engage and disengage. So first we'll learn how to disengage the product. So when you have the M3000 hand masker, what we want to do now, we want to remove the tape. We want to remove the um, hand mask, the film and we want to disengage the blade. So what you do first is make sure you tear where there is the film and the tape. So as you can see, I've disengaged the tape and the film. So once you roll that film out, you can see that there is this stabilizer. So what this does is it maintains the distance between the blade and the film. Now what happens is if there if this distance is not maintained and stabilized when you are tearing your blade can actually actually move like like a bow and that causes a cut which is an angular cut rather than a straight cut which causes a lot of problems when you're masking a window which is square. So that's the reason why the stabilizer is amazing. Uh, but to remove to disengage the film you remove that stabilizer like this. It moves like this and you make sure you pull the film out. So now we removed 
the film out of this socket. Placing the film. And I'm going to remove the tape from this dispenser. So I remove the tape. Now we have this. Now what we want to do is we want to disengage the blade from the handle. To do that, it's almost like an opposite acceleration on a motorcycle. When you're doing the acceleration, you do this, it's the opposite acceleration. So always make sure you hold on to the guard because the blade underneath is very sharp and you have to be very careful. So I have disengaged this. So now I have the handle separate and now I have the blade. So the reason why you need to know how to disengage is sometimes because we sell um, the blade separately and sometimes we sell the handle separately. So you need to know how to disengage and how to engage it together. So now we're going to engage again. So we've disengaged this. So to engage it, what I will do is I will hold actually. So this is a blade. I'm not going to hold on the top of the blade. I'm going to, going to hold at the bottom here. And you see this tip, this tip goes in this socket here. So these numbers that you see, they're actually the width of the tape. So depending on the width of the tape, uh, you have to put this dot in there. So now I've used uh, a, an inch and a half tape, which is 36 mm. So I'm going to put this here. So what you do is you basically slide this in. You arrange it to go under the 36. I have just hold onto the bottom of the blade. I have, I'm not even touching the blade. Put my thumb on the top and press it. And when you hear that click, then you know that it's engaged. Now I've engaged the blade with the handle. Now I'm going to put the tape. So I take the tape and you make sure that the tape has the adhesive side at the bottom when you put it on instead of putting it this way. So I've engaged the tape. Now I'm going to engage the film. So you take the film and it's very important to understand that the blue printing on the advanced film should be outside so that when you are dropping it down, it drops down properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the socket. So it's in. Make sure that the stabilizer goes in. It moves like this. It's in. All right. Now we have to stick the tape to the film. It actually shows here where the tape should go. The tape should go underneath and then out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out some tab and then I'm going to put this under and just attach it here. So what I've done is I've just taken the tape under this tab and then attach it to the film. What I will do is I'll just hold this. You see how this is moving? So I'll just hold this up and then rotate the film so that the tape gets a little far away. And then I'm going to just drop it. Hold it. Make sure everything is in place. Hold your tape and the film. Stretch it. Engage and tear. Now your M3000 hand masker is engaged. The system with the M3000 hand masker, the uh, advanced masking film and the variety of tapes that 3M has is revolutionizing the paint industry. It's making masking very easy. It's reducing labor, it's reducing the time taken to mask. I hope you have learned today about the tapes and the masking systems and I thank you for your time. Goodbye.